us again on Next Big Thing with Courtney and Dara. And today we have with us Stephanie Jung of BrokeandCooking.com. She is a graphic designer, she's an illustrator, and today we're gonna to be focusing on her food blogging. We are continuing on to our puff pastries mm -hmm. with prosciutto, mm -hmm. asparagus, and deliciousness. Um, okay, so we have our instructions up. We're gonna get started. And while we do that, let's find out a little bit more about Stephanie. <laughs> oh, boy. So tell us how you came up with Broken Cooking. Broken Cooking actually started from a lot of pictures I would post on Instagram of a lot of dishes I would make and people would ask about how to make them. Uh, yeah. Food has been kind of a lifelong passion of mine. Courtney would know that more than that. Yeah. <laughs> you guys grew up together. We literally grew up together. We went to kindergarten through eighth grade together. Yeah. Yes. And this girl has been obsessed with food since <laughs> the beginning of time. And then I tried one of her dishes and it was delicious oh. and beautiful. It's become one of my go-tos and sometimes when I'm like, I want to eat something, but I don't want it to be one of the same five dishes that I always make for myself, Perfect. but I want it to definitely be good. I want it to be simple, and I don't want it to cost me a ton of money. I agree. I hit broken cooking. The best yeah. reasons. So Those are the best reasons. And honestly, who's not broke and hungry? The blog basically is aimed towards people who are young and working. You don't necessarily have to be broke, but it kind of goes <laughs> to show you, you that you can be. eat really well on a realistic budget. Yeah. You guys are doing this exactly right. Okay. Are we? It's super good. easy. Okay. Like I'm mess. like, this is, okay. okay. And then, and then just wrap it up. Mm -hmm. Wait, I was exactly. supposed to put the cheese in first. And pinch them together. I'm already messing this up. It's okay. Just I'm so it. stressed out right now. <laughs> so Steph, what else are you doing other than broken cooking? I'm a graphic designer by trade, completely freelance, which is really nice. Oh, that's to be able awesome. To yeah. Kind of make your own choices about what jobs you take on. It's definitely a lot harder because you really have to hustle mm -hmm. for your jobs, for your income. Mm -hmm. um, it's a lot of putting yourself out there. I think that it's taken a lot of courage and then a lot of steps to get here to realize that it's okay to do what you want. What were your steps? Um, so I went to school, I have a degree in fashion design and then mm -hmm. I kind of went back to school for graphic design as well. Okay. And it's kind of, I think that everyone's kind of just trying to find their own way. But it is scary though. Yeah. It is it's scary, very scary to be like, okay, I'm gonna do this thing, I'm gonna put myself out there. With broken cooking, it's like, um, it's something that I really enjoy. Mm -hmm. So regardless of what comes from it or income or whatever. You're having fun anyway. Exactly. So Stephanie, Broken Cooking is happening, right? Happening. What is, what's next for you? What's on the I frontier? decided to move to Hong Kong. <laughs> yes! <I'm> sorry. <laughs> um. <laughs> no big deal, guys. Just going Just to Hong because. Kong. Um, wow. What brought that on? I branded a restaurant. Uh, some friends over in Hong Kong were opening a restaurant that's doing really well right now. It's okay. Chino. Yeah. Uh, Chino, is it? Chino. Okay. You can look them up on Instagram at Chino HK. Okay. Cool. And that was a really fun trip. Um, they flew me out for an amazing, amazing time. I met amazing people. Um, I think that in five days, I fell in love with Hong Kong. Really? Everyone there hustles really hard. Mm -hmm. it's, everything's, uh, nothing closes in Hong Kong. It's really- Sounds like New York. Lot, yeah, but on like steroids. Ooh, so, wow. ooh, super fun. Ooh. So I'm going in November just to go and do it while I'm young and yeah, you are. figure it out. This <laughs> is terrifying to me, but I'm, you're so brave. <laughs> right? <you. laughs> Rogan Cooking and Stephanie Jung are the next big thing. So really, truly stay up on this one because she's going to be you. doing big things. And if you blink, you'll miss it. <laughs> All I right. appreciate it. All right. Let's go to put this oven. in the oven. They look so good. See, you did that. We did this. We did that. This is crazy. I feel this like is actually a really good recipe really, for really Thanksgiving. Good. Yeah, and they're pretty too. That's the thing. They're yeah, they look really good. Yeah. Ooh, that's really tasty. 
those fair days is perfect. Mm -hmm. 15 minutes in the oven is perfect time to get the tree going and not overcook the asparagus. We like, did good, team. Mm. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us again, Stephanie. Mm -hmm. Thanks for having me. And thank you guys for watching. Thanks for watching, everyone. As always, if you want to keep up with the next big thing in art, culture, and more, head to nbttheshow.com. If there's someone you think is the next big thing, tweet us at nbttheshow. And if you want to donate to Next Big Thing, go to nbttheshow.com slash donate. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Uh -huh. don't right there. Like it's right it, there. Get it. Get it.